Hi guys, I'm Shreya Dikshit. In this video, I'm going to show you how I performed third task of GRIP 2020. This task is about exploratory data analysis and before moving to data set ex experimentation, let's take a look at EDA for a minute. What is EDA? It's a process that we do initially to check patterns to spot outliers and find relationships among variables using graphical representations and statistics. Why do we need ADA or can we skip ADA? The answer will be according to the real data. We know that the real data is quite dirty and messy. We need to do pre-processing of our data. Also, we have to perform EDA to make more sense of our data by graphical representations. Let's get to dataset and experiment now. The dataset is about a superstore in the United States. I have performed some initial steps like importing these necessary libraries, then loading the data and then I have printed first five entries and last five entries of the data set. Then I took some other steps to know more about the size of the data, columns inside the data and other statistics. There was nothing missing inside our data. Here is a correlation matrix showing which features are positively correlated and which are negatively correlated with profit. Then I took some steps to find out which is preferred way of receiving products after ordering. Then we can look over data at customer level and see which segment is highest in distribution. Then I did a category wise analysis and we can see that office supplies kind of products are ordered more. Then I compared the categories of products sold region wise. We can know the people from west order every kind of product more and people from south are least buyers of our products. Then I compared the profit and sales of different categories of products and the profit is highest from technology. Then there is some subcategory wise analysis and we can observe that there are many products sold from office supplies. Then you can see region wise anal analysis of profit and sales and again West is highly showing its results among all. Then you can see city wise analysis for finding out which city has most of our customers. You can see NYC has 915 customers which is highest among all and then we tried to confirm whether 915 customers are there in real or not and we know that we are correct here. The insights from EDA are the west part has our potential customers so we can target them more. The south part has least customers so we can make a good campaign there to attract more customers and technology products are gaining us more profit and office supplies have highest sale. We can make our decisions accordingly by taking the results of this EDA into consideration. Thank you for your attention.